Hi and welcome. This is Adrian Madrill with Peace of Mind and today we're going to go off the health and wellness um, topic and go into a different type of wellness topic and this is going to be Toys for Tots. You know, the holidays are coming upon us and there are families in need in our area and in all areas. And so it it's, it's kind of gives a, a peace of mind for that family who wonders what they're going to do for their children this year uh, when it comes to Christmas time have all the bills and, and cooking and everything else and I don't know if I have the, the money to come up with a, a toy for my child. So today we have a couple of guests on our show. Uh, Jessica and Junior are on, on my show today and they're going to tell us about Toys for Tots. And so at this time I'd like to have my audience welcome our guests and, and thank you for being on. And, and Jessica, um, first tell the, uh, our audience about who you are and a little bit about yourself and then we'll go to, to Junior here. My name is Jessica and I have five children. We have four little girls and a little boy and um, we live in Altoona, Kansas. I do serve um, five counties through Toys for Tots, um, Neosho, Wilson, Montgomery, Labette, and Crawford. I um, started, I learned about Toys for Tots many years ago. After we had had our second child, we needed help um, getting toys for our kids for Christmas and we found Toys for Tots. Um, had help many years later. Um, I had a friend ask me where she could get toys for her children for Christmas and I called Toys for Tots and um, they said that our county wasn't covered but they could definitely help us and we um, that's how I began in Toys for Tots. I started volunteering last year in December three weeks before Christmas and we served 166 kids just me and my husband. Okay. And your position with Toys for Tots is? I just took over as the coordinator this year, so I'm the new coordinator for the county. Um, so under new management. Basically. Under new management. Under new That's management. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's usually when people then start going back to that restaurant or something is when it's under That's new right. We want to get that new face out there and get that new name back for Toys for Tots and what the Marine Corps is out to do, and that's to serve our children. Great. And Junior, tell our audience a little bit about yourself. I'm Judy Wilson. I'm retired. And I've been with Toys for Tots. This is my third year. Great. I really enjoy it to have. I enjoy seeing the kids have something under the tree each year. So kind of like for me, I, I enjoy seeing the, the kids who come to my house for Halloween. We just had Halloween. And so some of the people out there watching the show may may be able to, to re-experience that idea with the kids that came to your door for, for Halloween and how excited they were to be able to get candy and stuff. And it's kind of it's kind of that same feeling whenever you're able to help out somebody and see, you know, with Toys for Tots they may not be able to see the smile on that children's face, but they they should know that by participating in a program like this that that. That, that that child is going to have that that happiness and joy come Christmas time Absolutely. because they actually have something to open up uh, under that the tree. joy of Christmas that hope that it's still there and they weren't passed by on Christmas it's that smile if you can just imagine a little kid opening that toy and to a lot of people one toy doesn't seem like it's going to make a difference but if you can just imagine that little boy opening that remote control car on Christmas or that little girl in that baby doll it's just amazing at the smiles and the happiness on their face. You know, because uh, I don't know how traditional people are these days with Christmas, but um, <clears throat> when I was growing up, it was like, am I getting cold? You yeah. know, and, <laughs> and the lack of anything might even give the impression of I'm, I'm not important, but to, exactly. to have something to open up on, you know, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, whenever it's appropriate for that family to open their presents, um, just makes them feel special. Absolutely. Yeah, they're still loved and there's still hope. And and they're and people and somebody knows enough to care for them, you know, their yeah. parents, Santa Claus, whatever. Any kids are watching my show, Santa Claus, um, I don't know how much uh, of a younger viewing audience I have, <laughs> but uh, but if you still believe in Santa Claus and some of us adults still do too, you know, that well and, and, and in fact by participating in a program like this we each get to play. Santa Claus. Absolutely. Yeah. And what, you know, what better reason than to be affiliated with, with you know, that, that joy of giving. So, 
Well, great. Well, tell me a little bit about Toys for Tots. For someone who doesn't know uh, about the program. Toys for Tots started back in 1947. 1947. Um, 1947. Um, the first year that it started, a, a major's wife had made a homemade doll and asked him to deliver it to a local shelter or something so that a child could have joy on Christmas. Um, he couldn't find anything to donate that doll to. So him and some of his Marine Corps buddies um, got together and they collected and donated 5,000 toys to children the first year that we started. Wow. The first year. Um, today, I think they said over 7 million toys have been delivered. Total or each year or do you remember? I'm not sure about That's that. That's okay. <laughs> Still, it's an impressive, no it is. impressive it number. It is. Um, and in, in our area, um, what is the, the need in our area? Do you know like how many children apply for or how many families apply for? This I'm program? not sure about the families. Um, last year, just in the Chinoo area, we covered, we served a, about a thousand children. Wow. As who we gave toys to. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, now, people who want to donate, um, what would they, what's the best way for them to, to get a toy to a child? Um, you can absolutely, if you live here in Chinook, you can bring it by our, our facility here at 411 South Central, um, right behind the rec building. Um, they, we also have donation boxes located um, throughout the community. Maurice's Dollar General are two of our um, big ones. We plan on having more. If there's a business that would like a box, please contact us. Email me, call me, stop by. Um, we can get a box out there. Or even if it's a jar, um, Casey's General Store does a lot for us. Um, they have a jar there, and uh, we bring in about 100 bucks a week. And all of that goes wow. on toys. All of it goes on toys. It doesn't go in our gas tanks. It doesn't go. Um, it's all a volunteer basis, so we don't get salary. Well, I was reading on, on, on the website, and the numbers are like 97% of all uh, funds that are generated, donated to Toys for Tots, goes towards toys for, for the children. 3% um, or a little less than 3% go to um, expenses. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry today, my audience. Uh, but it goes to expenses like um, utilities and things like mm -hmm. that. And, or uh, shipping costs. And shipping costs. Mm -hmm. Very good. Like, didn't even think about shipping costs. Um, then, um, but really, all the salaries. There's no no money from donations that actually go to pay for salary. None, none. It's all on a volunteer basis. Um, everything that we do here as the local community goes um, is volunteer. We get paid nothing for doing what we do. Um, even the people that I work for, even the vice president of our company. Um, does not get paid a salary out of the money that we make. That's 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 amazing. That's amazing. If you think about uh, how many different organizations are out there, how many different charities and, and things like that. Um, I remember when I was in the Navy, they give you a book of where you can uh, donate money to and come out of your out of your direct uh, deposit kind of thing. Um, and when you look through those different categories, you know a lot of them had. 60% you know, going to um, you know, overhead budgets and, and salaries and things like that. And so only a portion of your dollar was actually going to would support whatever the cause it is that you were thought that you were supporting. Mm -hmm. So something like this is just an amazing thing. If you if you wonder where I can actually give and make the most uh, most effect with my money, especially if you want to do it locally then this is a wonderful program for them. Toys for Tots is one of the top elite groups. Um, there's not a lot out there that um, all of our money goes to our cause. We are one of the top elite groups that it does. Every penny of it goes. Great. Um, now, some people are, are uh, hesitant about donating, especially during the holidays. We, we see, um, we hear about scams all the time, you know, people who maybe have their hand out that are clearing six figures tax free mm -hmm. and then you know, they go to the bathroom, change their clothes and drive home in their Mercedes or right. something. Um, and so sometimes some people are cautious about donating to something. 
how do they know that a drop-off location is an appropriate drop-off location? Um, you mentioned like uh, Casey's has a, a donation jar. Um, um, you were mentioning something earlier about the website has a way to identify locations. Yes, you can go on to the website, um, toysfortots.org, and you can go to request a toy or donate a toy. Drop-off locations, I believe, also is on there. And you can look on that list and um, be able to say, oh, yeah, Casey's is on here, or um, Dollar General and Chanute is on here, um, Orchlands in Independence, Kansas is on here. Um, and be able to tell our donation sites like that. If anybody's hesitant or has a question about it, feel free to call me, email me. I will be happy to tell you, yes, it's going to us, or no, that doesn't belong to us. So get your pencil and paper ready because I'm sure Chris is going to add that information on. <coughs> so when you watch it, it will be up there for you. But you can stop by the, the office, which is in the old high school area across from the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. um, and you can call, email. Also the contact information you can find from the parent organization's website, toysfortot.org. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dot org. And there's so many dots, whatever it's out there. Um, so, so is there, say I, I'm, a, um, I'm a parent and I want help with presents for my children. How do I go about getting my children registered or whatever? We have a short do? application that you okay. can come in and fill out. You can email me all the information. I can fill it out for you. Um, you can also go on the website and fill out the um, application online. Um, obviously we would like you to come in and fill it out. Um, that looks the best. Mm -hmm. But if um, you're not able to drive or you don't have transportation, um, feel free to call me. I will set on the phone and fill one out for you. Um, I, will, I will go to um, great measures to help the children. I will. That, that's very important. Now, um, when are people able to pick up the pick up toys if they're part of the program? We're going to start two weeks from uh, Christmas Day. Okay. And we're going to start filling the applications. Like I said, the stores, um, if you can come in, we're going to pull your application. We have a room that um, is going to be completely overflowing with toys, we hope, by, the, by that time. And uh, we're going to let you go in and pick out um, toys for your children. You'll get two toys. Every child will receive a book. Um, we also have stocking stuffers. And um, we have games and puzzles. And we're going to throw in one of those for the family. Um, that way the family has a game or a puzzle that they can sit down on Christmas Day and they can play together or two months, three months down the road that, that the family can, can bond a little bit with. Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent idea, you know, because our society is becoming a, a, a society of not communicating, exactly. not bonding, but, you know, being centered around cell phones and video games mm -hmm. and the television or computer. And so, um, you know, if you're thinking about, well, what do I donate as a gift? Maybe a family type of game might be a good thing to donate. Yeah. Uh, but if you're stuck, you really don't know cash works well, too. So. Yeah, it <laughs> does. And I, I would love to have the toys. I want the toys. Um, cash, we can. We can go out and buy whatever's needed um, for the program. Um, if we're lacking on toys um, for boys ages 6 to 11, then we can focus on that. Mm -hmm. And that's what our cash goes for. Um, but absolutely, toys are better. I want to see the toys. <laughs> so no, no cash actually goes to the kids? <laughs> no, okay. no. We, we won't give the cash to the kids. We'll take it out and we will buy toys. So um, from, the, from the, the perspective of, okay, I, I go down and I fill out a, an application, um, is it a, a waiting period? Do I hear back to know? Is it an approval thing? Is uh, there um, criteria they have to meet to be eligible? If, if they're on any kind of assistance, if they get WIC, um, food stamps, medical assistance, anything like that through the state, you're automatically approved. Oh, okay. Okay. If not, it's just a short little um, income and expense report, and um, we just kind of uh, go by that to whether you're approved or not. Um, really it. Okay. It's, I can, if I'm in the office when you come in, I can give you an approval on the spot. 
Um, like I said, if you're if you have any of that, those assistance things, then then you're going to know that you're automatically approved. Okay. Um, is there what age range do you see the need is more for through this area? Um, is it? Do you, do you, I don't know. And you may not have that information. Just kind of curious if somebody is. Yeah, with me being a first time coordinator for this area, I'm not sure. Um, we do serve everywhere from infant all the way up to 18. Um, also, if you have a child still living in the house that's 19, um, maybe still in high school even, we're going to serve that child too. And we're not going to give presents to his brothers, her brother and sisters, and not serve that child. Um, also, mentally disabled children. Um, We've had uh, a lady, she had a sister that she cared for um, and was blind. Mm -hmm. And she applied for assistance for her children and also the sister. Because obviously the sister um, can't go out and do the work and stuff. But she liked to play with Legos and stuff. So we try to help those people too. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, Junior, you've been in this area working with Toys for Tots for three years? Yes, yeah, sure. Said? So, uh, from your experience, is there like one age group that is uh, more, more, uh, more of that age group comes for or has a need for? Usually, it's uh, like one day old up to about I'd say 10, 11, 12, okay. something like that. Um, for those who are donating, is this? something that if they donate a gift or donate a uh, uh, monetary contribution, uh, is this something that they can use towards their taxes? Do they get a receipt for what they drop off? We can. We can do that, um, especially if they bring it into the office. Um, large donations. Um, last year we got $500 from Walmart. The year before, I think it was a thousand. Big donations like that um, are definitely tax deductible. We have a letter that we can give you, um, even if it was a hundred dollars or twenty dollars. Um, we can definitely we can give you a copy of that letter for you for it to be um, tax deductible. Have it in your file. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. And do you guys take any sort of food or candy? No, no, no we don't. Candy. No, okay. we strictly do toys. Strictly toys, mm -hmm. non-edible toys, preferably. <laughs> <laughs> As, you know, may contain small choking hazard parts. <laughs> type thing. We don't, we don't want those. Um, and so, probably the same thing then for like any sort of uh, gift card or, or gift certificate. That probably, unless. Unless you guys would be able to use that to purchase toys. Exactly, that. and that's Probably. what we would do. Yeah, if somebody brought us a gift card, then we're going to take that and we're going to spend it on the toys. Sounds good. Um, I was trying to give an example, but I can't think of an example that I wouldn't generate some sort of uh, bad feedback from friends that have, you know, those businesses. So, so, um, so okay, I can go this way because I think they're my friends. So, no. Gift certificate, certificates for a massage for for a, a child. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so it's going to <laughs> <laughs> And now, if we got a gift certificate like that, um, we could take it. Um, we could do a raffle on it. Oh, okay. Raffle that off to adults, and then take the money that we earned off of that raffle to purchase more toys. So if you'd like to help support Toys for Tots, mm -hmm. but maybe you're in a position where you can't afford to buy toys right. uh, as well, you could donate your time for hair care or massage mm -hmm. or something like that. Absolutely. Oil changes, we've done that before. We've got um, oil change gift certificates right. and stuff that we can, we can raffle off to earn money. And I saw you had a, a bike raffle going on. Mm -hmm. We do. Okay. We do. We have a bike raffle um, going on. We have a boys and girls bike. We kept the receipts for them. That way, if we have a toddler that wins a 20-inch bike, we can definitely take that bike back and go get them a, a tricycle or something. Okay. Um, we can go bigger or smaller like that. Um, and all the money um, that's raised off of those bikes um, will go back into Toys for Tots. We're going to go buy more toys for those. Awesome. And if you got like, say, Joe Glenn out 
said, I would like to donate a $100 check to Toys for Tots. It's not made out to us. It's strictly made out to Toys for Tots. And then, like, say they come in the office. I'm working there by myself. They give me a check. I write it down. The day they brought it in, the amount, then I give it to her. She sends it to corporate, and it goes into her credit card account. That's strictly for toys. And that's strictly for um, toys. So sort of a, a company card type of thing. It's not it is a company card type of thing. And what I do when I receive those checks is I go online. I fill out an online deposit form so they can see exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it. So those checks are recorded, the number, who they came from, the amount. And then I stamp them with our, our stamp saying that they come back to Neosho County. So all that money will come back to the community. Everything that we raise in a community stays in that community. Great. Yeah. Yes. That's always wonderful to know because sometimes you don't know where where your donation goes, especially when, you, when you donate nationally or something like that to an organization. Now, last year, when the other coordinator had it, he's running about 10 counties. Well, we would get calls like from Ellsmore, La Harp, Bronson, Fort Scott, Girard. He had call him, you know, like they do her. We would fill them at this store, since he had all of them, mm -hmm. and this was central location. We would bag them up, take their form that filled out, tape them to that bag, and last year I was started at my pickup, my time, my gas, and I delivered to every town. Wow. that was on that list and when I'd meet them I'd have them sign it so that yes they got their toys because last year I had a grandmother come in and she didn't get hateful but she was upset her daughter did not get any toys for from toys for tots I said what was her name please she told me, and I went back in our done book, and I went through it, and I said, if you see her name, let me know. I started flipping the pages, and she said, there she is. I pulled that out, and I said, there is her signature right there, right? Okay, thank you very much, and she left. Wow. It proved that she got her toys, she signed for them, and everybody was happy. So it sounds like even on the local level, this is a well thought out, well planned, well organized. We do organize, we do plan, we work all year long. It's not just an October through December thing for us, um, especially as a coordinator. Um, we do fundraising all year long. Um, Artist Alley, we were here for that. Um, we do different things. Um, we sell hot chocolate and coffee and make chili. Um, Frito chili pies, um, brisket sandwiches. We do all kinds of things. All that food. Now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> all the food, all the coffee, all the hot chocolate. Um, we try to get that donated as well. So if you can't donate toys um, throughout the year, trash bags are a huge thing that we use um, to bag the toys to actually deliver those to families. Wrapping paper. Um, obviously, if they need help with toys, they're probably not going to be able to buy wrapping paper. It's expensive. Right. So expensive. So, um, we do have some there at the building that you can actually wrap your toys before you leave. Okay, If great. you want to. Now, um, one last question. Say I want to, say I know a family in New York, and I think that they are probably on the list and in the program, and I want to donate to that family specifically can can somebody do that or is that uh, not really you can feasible? no you can absolutely um, just talk to me okay just keep in I'm a very open person um, honest 
I try to be down to earth with everybody. And if that's what somebody wants to do, you know, if, if that's been put on their heart to help that family and I have that family, obviously I can't tell you that I have that family, um, just for confidentiality, but um, I can make sure that your toys go to that family. Personally, I can do that. Well, right now we got uh, boxes for new unwrapped toys. And like she said, in Dollar General here in Chinood, we got one in uh, American Legion. They actually let us put one in there this year. And then our money jars, she got to go in and buy a Coke and you got some change left. Change does add up. Mm -hmm. We got, I put a jar in Casey's, Jayhawk Lumber, the Green Band, and Cardinal Drug. They can in them locations. So if you're also thinking about a way to to help out besides ma making a donation of toys or gifts, uh, maybe the idea might be to volunteer some of your time and, and talents. I know some people don't have the, the means to, to go out and buy another toy, but if they can sit and answer a phone or, or greet somebody at a door, uh, why don't you tell me about, um, do you guys have the opportunity for somebody to help volunteer for Toys for Tots? And, and what kind of people you're looking for, what, what kind of things that they can do to help out? We have many of things that um, you can help do. You can come in and you can help um, fill out applications, um, greet people, just let them know that they're welcome there, um, help them fill out the application if needed, um, sorting toys, bagging toys, filling the applications, delivering toys for people that may not be able to get out and actually come and pick up their toys, um, filling the applications when we go to fill those, um, picking out toys for kids that parents can't come in and pick out, that's, it's so much fun. It is so much fun. Um, time during our, during the year um, when we're actually not in the office working, but we're out um, working stands, we're selling coffee and going to stuff like Artist Alley, Neawalla, we set up at Neawalla and Independence also. If you could donate your time to come out and set up there, that would be awesome. I imagine a, a big thing also would be the uh, somebody who's got the skills and the abilities to wrap a present. <laughs> to wrap a present, absolutely, or to cook um, when we do chili and stuff like that. If you can cook, um, we have the supplies donated. If you can just, you know, help donate your time to, to put those together for us. Well, that sounds wonderful. Um, anything else that you might add, Junior? If they would like to volunteer, like I say, we're, I will be in the store from 8 to 5, six days a week, Monday through Saturday, and except Thanksgiving, and I'll just be a half day before Thanksgiving, 8 to noon. And if they would like to volunteer, give me a call at 212. One two five seven. That's my cell. I carry it right here at all times, and we can get together. They come down, sign up, just like I have to, to sign a sheet that you are a volunteer, and then we can go from there. And they can kind of. Well, I can't make it on a Monday, but I can make it on a Wednesday. That's fine. Pick your own time, your own hours that you can volunteer. Like I say, I'm there from eight to five. I can't even, right now, I don't have any volunteers. I can't even go to lunch. I have to bring my lunch in to be there in case somebody comes in. And it'd be nice to have somebody even if they can't volunteer all the time because, you know, maybe somebody who can fill in as needed. Um, you might have like a doctor's appointment something and you really just can't schedule it mm -hmm. if you're there you know mm -hmm. but on that sort of schedule mm -hmm. so so if you have the the uh, interest in volunteering at all um, it'd, be, it'd be worth the, the the time that it takes out of your life to, to uh, be able to do something like that especially when you get to wrap presents or, or hand presents to people right. and see the people who you're helping and I just want to say thank you thank you to each individual person to each business that helps us every year. Without you guys, I couldn't do this. We could not pull Toys for Tots if it weren't for each one of the people in our community. So I just wanna say thank you to every one of them. I would like to say thank you too to all of them. 
if it wasn't for them, there wouldn't be no Toys for Tots. Well, and I want to say thank you to you guys, because if it wasn't for you guys, you know, would we have anybody in our area doing this? Right. So, so I want to thank you for that. If you were able to write down your location where you wanted to go to make your donations, and uh, if not, the information, you know, you can you can look it up on the internet, uh, toysforcots.org. Um, you can get the contact information for the local office here, plus it's flashed on the screen. If you are like my faithful followers and you DVR every one of my shows, you can just rewind it and uh, pause it and write down that information. I don't even think I DVR my shows. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, if you have the opportunity to, if, if, if that is what is written on your heart and you feel moved to do so, you know, reach out to a family, reach out to a child this year, make a donation to Toys or Tots. And for our, all of us here at Channel 5, I want to wish you a happy holidays, and uh, thank you for watching our show. Have a wonderful day.